Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got another trash fisher treasure for you. So y'all stay tuned. shore yesterday and in here in the ice we brought home a little surprise let's go put him on the cleaning table you know sometimes when you see these guys in the water they look like a cobia this is no cobia it's a remora and I figure hey uh, you know he looks like you got a little bit of meat on him he's a medium mid column eater at that sucker on the back of his head. Wow, look at that thing. That sucker plate. It's freaking cool. It's got little, like, teeth is on it, like a shark skin almost. And his mouth, I don't know if we can get his mouth to open, but his mouth opens at the bottom like that. He spends a lot of time sucked up to the bottom of a shark or a ray. And They'll come after your bait. This was this was the smaller of the two I caught, but I already had this one in a cooler and didn't want to, you know, keep him unless I know he's good to eat. So we're gonna find that out very shortly. So let's go ahead and put him on the fish cleaning table and flame him up. Kind of hard to hold on to, dude. Possible hold by the tail. See how his tail tapers down real fast. I don't know if he's got a lot of meat on him. I know he was eating my chum. And he ate a big old piece of sardine. This pat on the back of his head is pretty cool. You can see it's kind of like his fin, but it's flattened down. And it, it's, it curls up on the edges. I guess he, you know, that's how he sucks himself to the shark and uh, releases when he needs to. We're gonna try to get him just like just about any other fish. Just gonna get right in behind the head there. I'll we'll start back down by the tail. It's hard to get to lay on his side though because of his big flat head. Maybe we'll go ahead and take his head off first. I should be able to flatten him out a little bit then. Fish is going to be kind of bloody when you cut that head off like that. <clears throat> Pretty tough. Let me get the water. Got pretty, pretty tough looking skin. Let's see if we can get it right down next to the bone there, right down his back. Start opening it up. It's got beautiful white flesh. Maybe not a lot of it, but. Ribs, and fill his ribs, so we're just going to go right over top of the ribs. There's the pin bones. Next week, not doing a very good job. He wants to flip over on us. Side, so I'm gonna come back on the bottom side. The skin reminds me of triggerfish. Hmm. I have a 
different difficult animal to, to fillet just do the shape of them. It looks like we got a little strip of meat right there. Right off down to the pin bone. And I said that the skin is like a trigger fisher skin, like leather. Very hard to cut this guy. That's a little strip of meat we're gonna get off of them. Hopefully it's tasty. Chum with my knife. Beautiful piece of meat. All right, what we're gonna do is gonna put the other side back in the back in the cooler. And uh, we'll cook this up, see if it's fit to eat. If it is, we'll just lay the other side. All right, guys. You only need. We're gonna we're gonna do this. My favorite uh, fried fish recipe. This is just a very very light, delicate looking, uh, looks almost like mahi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare this for frying. So in the bowl here, I'm just gonna go with one egg. Um, we, don't, we don't need the whole thing, but obviously they don't come in a smaller package. And uh, I'm gonna put into this uh, one tablespoon of mayo. Okay, for those of you that, that uh, sub me, you know that I use this quite a bit. Um, it makes the best um, batter for just about anything that I've ever found. We're just going to take a whisk. You do really need a whisk to get this to incorporate. But you see it does quite quickly when you have the right tool. Right. So there we have our pre-batter. Let's get ready for the dry side. Okay, we got our fish pieces cut in two little pieces there. We're gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of our Seminole Swamp seasoning. Uh, you can use Everglades, and if you like the Cajun stuff, use Tony's. Um, this is kind of our favorite Seminole Swamp. Buy this only online now, as far as I've found. So we're gonna go right into our egg mayo mixture. Just coat all sides of that. Alright, and our second bowl over here. We got standard old panko breadcrumbs. Not gonna need a lot to do two little pieces of fish. Um, here we got a piece of aluminum fold down. We could probably just uh, sprinkle a little layer and then lay the fish right on it. Sprinkle some right over the top. I'll roll them around a little bit. The panko, or you can just put them in the bowl, shake them like this. Whichever way you prefer. But that uh, the egg mayo mixture helps a lot of this panko to stick. And um, when it cooks, it actually forms a crust, a complete envelope to keep your fish from drying out. So there you go, those are ready for the deep fryer. We already got the Dutch oven going over here on the fire. Here we got our number 10 Dutch oven um, with the uh, grapeseed oil. And the way I check temperature on it, I dropped a little piece of the panko. If it immediately sizzles and floats to the top, you're pretty close on temperature. All right, let's go ahead and drop our remora fingers right on in that hot grease. Very carefully on this. All right, let's go deep fry them out.
Fish cooled off a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Um, you see that, you know, it did flat fry up nice and golden brown, and uh, texture, very, very nice texture. So let's give it a shot. Meat has as good as a snapper. Um, tastes a lot like mangrove snapper. Which stands to reason because they eat a lot of the same things and they live in the same areas. That's pretty damn good right there. Um, as far as uh, fish that most people throw back immediately just because it's ugly. Um, you know, a lot of people don't uh, don't know that uh, Chilean sea bass that you order in some high-end restaurants is really the Patagonian two fish. It's pretty ugly too, but it's delicious. This remora, delicious. Uh, trash fisher treasure, treasure all the way, treasure. Not a lot of meat on him, but definitely treasure. So if you're out there. Real and red snappers left after right. Can't keep none of them. Catch a nice size or more. Bring them home, fillet them up. Put them on a deep fry. You'll be glad you did. This is really good. Mm. 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 I mean, look at that. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet today, Trash Fisher Treasure. Today, another treasure, Remora. As always, please subscribe, share, comment. Hey, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. So we'll see you next time.